Sometimes I make so much more work for myself than what needs to be. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Happy vlog day. Happy sale preview day. Um, I am just now leaving to go to the shop. It's a little after eight. I'm a little bit later than what I wanted to be, but I've got a lot to do today. I have some boxes to open from some subscribers. I have to get things ready for my sale tomorrow. I've got to pull some things down. I think I just have a, well, I have one thing that um, I will be showing you how I'm packing it up um, that I sold on eBay. <clears throat> it is a Fiesta set. So it has lots of different little breakable parts. So I thought that would be a good something for me to demonstrate how I ship it for you. And so we've got a fun packed day. So let's go ahead and get to the shop and get her going. Just got to the shop, bringing in all of my bags because I did pick up well, I only brought one of them in. I did pick up about six boxes from the, my P.O. box yesterday. And some of them were sent by some sweet subscribers. And some of them are things that I've bought from other YouTube live sales. Which are so much fun. I love them. Alright, so I've got these. This, this bag. This is a bag that I brought in yesterday. Just some boxes of orders that I've placed on Amazon or whatever, but because I recycle all of them. So I'm going to bring these over. Oh, you can't see that yet. I have it all set up for my live haul that I will be doing Thursday. So I have a table all set up. I'm going to be doing a live haul, which Inc will include the items that I picked up with during my um, antique mall shopping trip that I took with my friend Cindy. And um, so <laughs> I'm excited to do a live haul because, you know, with a live haul, you get to interact with people. And I'm a talker, if you haven't already figured that out. And I like to talk to people. So I'm going to try it and see how it goes. And the bonus part of it is there's no editing. So that's a wonderful thing because that takes up a lot of time. And I think that, you know, going live, it gets to, it gets people to understand who you are, like really the non-edited, just as just me, you know, with my hair thrown up and this, that, and the other. So it's just fun. It's just a, it's a fun thing to do. And I, I really enjoy doing it. So, all right. Um, 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 um what am I going to do? Oh, I've got to grab the item that I have that I'm going to ship up today. I'm going to show you how I wrap up a breakable. Now, and this item actually has several different breakable parts. Let me put the tripod up here. All right, so this is what it is. Let me move some of these other things over. It is this Fiesta Sugar and Cream set. And this is a modern piece. It is not old. Um, it is the sugar and cream set with the under tray. And see, it's not, it's not an original piece. This is the persimmon, 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 persimmon color, which is, it's orange. It's orange. So this set has the under tray, the sugar bowl, the lid, and the creamer. So four, four parts that we will be wrapping up. And you know what? When you get used to wrapping up breakles, you don't sweat it. And I don't, I am not one bit nervous about shipping this because I know that I ship things well protected and I know that they're going to get there okay. Now, I and listen, I've had people that have sent me messages and have sent me pictures of boxes when they've been shipped and the boxes come look like they've been kicked and played in a in a kickball match, but the items inside are still very wrapped very well and well protected. So we're going to be talking about that today too. I am also going to work on starting to figure out the things that I'm going to be pulling to sell on my eBay live Friday. Not, I, I still don't know what I'm going to call it yet, 
basically the, fr the my videos on Friday are going to be videos of me showing things that I am putting up for auction on eBay. So it will be 10 to 15 things that will be going up as an auction on eBay for you to purchase if you would like. And I don't quite know what I'll, I mean, I have a couple things. I have a couple things, but I don't really know what else yet. So I'm going to work on that today too, and also get things ready for my sale tomorrow. And maybe I'll, sh well, I've already kind of showed you the process that I do that. I hand write my inventory list down for Emma so she can help me keep track. And um, it's just, it's just a system for us that works. Maybe it's an extra step, but it works for me. And I'm not going to fix what's not broken. All right. So I'm going to lay these down. And then I'm going to go ahead and get my computer set up so I can have all that stuff ready. All right. The first, after I get my computer hooked up, we're going to go ahead and get the eBay order ready to ship. That's what I do every morning when I get here. I want to get it checked off my list and out of my head. And uh, we'll I'll show you how my methodical little brain um, wraps something that is breakable and fragile. All right, so we are all ready to get this beautiful piece of Fiesta all packed and ready to go. The first thing that I'm going to start with is the bubble wrap. I use bubble wrap. Um, it, it does just provide a lot of cushion for the item. It's a must. If you are sending breakables, you must wrap it in bu bubble wrap. Don't just wrap it in paper alone. You need to have a little bit of, you need to have some sort of a little bit of a cushion. And bubble wrap is, is in, inexpensive and it's just the best thing to use that I have came across in shipping breakable items. The first thing I'm gonna do is the underplate. And I just, let me pan this down. I just start at one end and just start wrapping it. Just until I kind of feel like it's good. Most bubble wrap does have, they do have this perforated line there. So just tear across. And again, my countertop tape dispenser is a godsend. What, what, another thing that I do is I do tape it on all ends. And then I will give it another, another wrap in the opposite direction. So I'll start with it long ways now and just give it a couple wraps in the opposite direction. So I just kind of fold up each side. It's almost like you're wrapping a little bit of a present. So there is the underplate. I do wrap, not now I don't put every single item in tissue paper. And again, this isn't something that you have to do. It's something that honestly I enjoy doing and I just find it therapeutic for me to wrap things pretty. It is anything that is required or expected. It's just something I enjoy it. I, I enjoy knowing that my customer's gonna open up something and they might get a little bit of a surprise because of the way that it's presented to them. So it's just something that I, that I like to do, but it isn't necessary. Then I, and see, I pick up these ribbons at Goodwill a lot of the time. So ribbons and tool, I'll either reuse or find thrifting or at yard sales. And since this is the flat item, I'm going to add my little, my little cards that I'll add. I'm all out of my new business cards. I need to order more. This is my old one. So I'll just attach it there. And then I have this little postcard. So that one is done. 
And this one's ready. I will go ahead and put it, it in the box. Now I have this box here. It is a 10 by eight, it's a 10 by eight by six box. And I just threw in a couple of, just a couple handfuls of, I'm actually gonna put another handful of, of packing peanuts. And lay the item in there like that. Then I will put, break off a piece of bubble wrap and lay it on top. So I can add the other two pieces in there. And it's important since the item is wrapped in all directions in bubble wrap, it is, it isn't directly touching the box. So that's one thing that you wanna make sure that your item, so if you are packing this mug, even if you just had it wrapped in paper, that the item wasn't directly touching the box because that's a pressure point that it's if it gets hit or kicked or whatever then it's very it's a very um vulnerable spot so make sure that you're providing a padding on each side of your box all right so now let's start with i've got the creamer and the sugar bowl let's start with the cream bowl so typically what i do is i'll start on one end again and just start rolling. And then I will fold over each side. And when you fold over your sides, you're actually still providing a little bit more padding. Usually I'll do one on each side. Now I won't wrap this one up in bubble wrap or in tissue paper. I'll just cut a little piece of ribbon. I have a thank you sticker I'll put on it like that. And then hopefully it'll still fit this box. Yeah, it and put it on top of there. I will be putting another layer of bubble wrap on top of this box or of this these two packages as well to add another layer of protection. Protect it, and then one sheet of bubble wrap over the top. It's all padded in there. There's no rustling or jiggling around, and it should arrive safe and sound. Okay, now let me just point out, I have on my studio lights because the shop in itself is quite dark because the only windows are up there. So I turn these on just to make me feel like I'm, you know, in the sunshine, just 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 a little bit all right so i've started to pull a few things uh, i haven't priced any of these yet i so don't there's no no nothing's going to be given away but I, like i said i'm going to try to do a little bit of a nod to the fourth of july i have this really awesome gasoline can that i think is beautiful with the eagle on it this was actually something that i did pick up at the antique mall that was on my live haul table set up, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull it for the sale tomorrow because, well, it's blue. And that's the color scheme that I'm looking for. The can of shade. Do you need a can of shade? Does enough shade get thrown at you sometimes? Do you need more? Well, this is for you. I love, this is like the size of a paint can too. It is still full of the seeds as well. So, so it's gonna be a little bit heavier to ship because of that. Um, then I've got these little plastic melamine cups, a little hobnail, um, cat, Uncle Sam, maybe, see, boop. 
This is a cool piece of advertisement. This would go on a store display. It's like the topper of a store display for Uncle John's syrup. That's not copying Uncle Sam a little bit. Mm, I don't know. I do have another couple pieces of this French uh, artwork. Well, like the fashion artwork. Two more paint by number pieces in a hunting theme. And another really cool vintage puzzle. Uh, books. I am, I'm, I'm, I'm clearing my hoard just slightly of the salt and pepper shaker. So some of those will be the wooden salt and pepper shaker. Some of those will be available. Um, as well as some of these fun ones. These little fun kitschy sayings on it. Don't criticize your wife's judgment. Look whom she married. This is from Watkins Glen, New York, souvenir piece. These are just kind of interesting. They're little wooden salt and pepper shakers shaped as lamps. As well as... Ooh, pretty, pretty. Unfortunately, I only have one. But that one will be available too. And this is interesting to me. This is that um, the New Orleans pottery. It kind of looks like an upside down top hat, but it's a planter. Let me grab one of my fake succulents. Voila, planter. So I'm just gonna walk around and maybe pull, see if I can find a few other items. I did put some things in pinky. That's to save for another sale. Um, What could we, what shall we, what shall we pick from in here? Oh, I have to pull another. Let's go ahead and pull this one. We have to do another fairy lamp. I have this other stars and bars one. Now, this one is flash painted to make it kind of resemble an amberina piece, but it is not true amberina. It has been flash painted. This is really neat. It is a Coca Cola vintage bag. Now, it has condition issues, but I stuck some tissue. In there to make it display nice but you can put that on top of a display and that would be fun so we'll we'll add that what else can we pick that would be fun oh what about I already pulled some bottles so let's take out these bottles because this um, case here. That would be fun, right? I know I have all this stuff piled up here, so I haven't been able to get, ooh, I haven't been able to get to some of this stuff. He's red, white, and blue. He's fun. So let's try him. Let's also try this uh, cowboy mug. These are kind of fun. These little sugar and creamer, an open sugar and creamer set. Maybe we'll add these. All right, so I think what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna, going to start getting some stuff priced and written down and ready. I'm just seeing something else I'm probably going to pull too. But we'll go ahead and do that. And um, when it's all done, then I will come back and I will give you another preview of the things that I'm going to be selling in tomorrow's sale. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm going to get the stuff priced and get it set up and get it ready for the sale tomorrow. Sometimes I make so much more work for myself than what needs to be. I don't listen to myself a lot of times because I say I'm not going to do something like I say, I'm not going to gather anything up until Tuesday. I'm going to do it all on Tuesday. And then I don't listen to myself and I end up gathering things. And then I end messes like this, that some of it I'm going to show and some of it's not, but I use this table for my Instagram sale. So some of these things will get shown, like I've got this cookie jar and a deer. Oh, this, we'll have to show this, probably on Instagram. These are the things that I'm starting to work on Instagram. A little bit so I'm just you know pulling some of the things let's try 
Should we try? We were selling some strawberry shortcake glasses on YouTube, so maybe we'll try sh strawberry shortcake um, canister. And here are the brooches. This really pretty floral brooch and a little bird. Little bird on a stick on a branch. Okay, I have it already. I have both the Instagram and the YouTube items ready to give you a little sneak peek. I have been strategically tucking in the tag so nobody can be cheater McCheater pants. And okay, let me turn it around and I'll show you. Okay, here we have the items that will be available tomorrow for the YouTube sale. There are 62 items, I believe. I do have some more pillows that mom has made. So we've got some more pillows. I'm throwing in those fun placemats. These are amazing. These are bald eagle limestone carved, hand carved bookends. They are from Indiana limestone. They're quite heavy, but I thought that they were really pretty and it just really kind of added a statement to kind of my 4th of July little theme I've got going on. I've got some blue swirl over there, some more of those insulated mugs. So some fun things I have been, I'm clearing out my pie bird collection. So there will be one pie bird in this sale and they'll continue the next couple weeks. So I am cleaning out that collection a little bit. And then we go over here to the Instagram side. So at, right after my sale on YouTube, I will be on Instagram live and I'll sell these 15 extra items. The little deer will be over there. I've also pulled a vintage sampler piece that's in a frame. So that is a lot of fun too. And now I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye for this vlog. I need to get it edited so it can go up at seven o'clock so y'all can watch it. And um, I'm excited about tomorrow. I always love Wednesdays. They're always my favorite day of the week because I get to talk to y'all and um, I'm, I'm still, you know, being able to clean out some stuff and make room for more treasures to go out and find. So I hope that you enjoyed this little preview video vlog, whatchamacallit. If you did, make sure that you please give it a thumbs up. It really does help my channel get seen in eBay's algorithm. And again, random, random comments. The more comments that you put in people's videos, the more it helps their channel get noticed in eBay. So comments are our friends. So I will see you guys tomorrow uh, at the sale, one o'clock Eastern Standard Time here on my YouTube channel. And until I see you again, bye.